We are live on YouTube oh. for the first time. Yeah, I'm going to try this out. Look at you, Rob. All mm. right. Yeah, it's, uh, it's probably a little bit of a delay, but it's all right. Uh, no more than there would be on Twitch. So, well, Welcome to your Monday Morning Mash Bill. I'm Rob. I'm Adam. Was, was there another button you were supposed to push on the other? Oh, yeah, there's probably, probably another button I should push, right? <laughs> I mean, I could probably download it later, but <laughs> I'll just push that now. Makes it easier. Um, so today, we're actually going to be comparing uh, what happens when you take the same whiskey and you age it, or you finish it, finish I it guess, in different in, casts. Uh, in different casts. Yeah. Um, so we have the IPA edition of Jameson Castmates, the Stout edition, and then a mystery... I don't Underneath even know. this one, yeah, Adam doesn't even know. It's a surprise for everyone. So, uh, do you want to do the honors? Do you want to, or do you want to taste these oh. first and then do it? Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's keep the mystery a little. Okay. While. Yeah. I like a little mystery in my life. I'm gonna start by pouring myself one of these. You can pour yourself one of those, and then we'll switch. So far, just looking at it, can't tell. No. At all. The colors, yeah, that's exactly the same. Um, so it's hard to kind of see Jameson, too, because they use these green bottles. I don't know if that's to protect it from sunlight, or is that... Uh, I think that's the opposite of what it does. Yeah. It's like the beer that comes in green bottles, the UV getting through the green actually skunks out the beer. Oh, they're I trying to skunk out their whiskey, then? Maybe. Oh. Or that's just Irish, so it's green. Oh. <laughs> oh. I never really thought about that one. Okay. All right, so you're going... Right. IPA stout. Yeah. So IPA. I have IPA on the outside. Let's do it. Mm, smells like Jameson. I don't expect a whole lot of development from these over the hour. No, I mean, it's not a, it's not a big... Right, robust whiskey. It's well, I mean, most Irish, you know, you would say they're lighter. Um, it's a lighter yeah. style for sure. Yeah, for sure. Um, let me see. Yeah. Right at the end, you get a little bit of. Uh, Citrusy, yeah, kind of like from the hops. Yeah, you know? that's what I was saying. I get that, and like a slight, like sort of pine note to it. Hmm. Nothing like crazy, but like a little bit of pine needle, sort of. Yeah, like if I was just down in this to get drunk, I probably wouldn't even notice that it was the IPA edition. Like it's yeah, that subtle. It, that citrus kick, oh. it, it it reduces the vanilla. Okay, yeah, just tones a little, down, and you have that little citrus kick. That makes sense. It's nice, but I mean, it's it's like J Jameson's a danger bottle. Yeah. If you're in the wrong mood and you open one, it's gone. Yeah, yeah, it's it's easily. So easy well, I to mean, drink. most Irish whiskeys, I would say, are a lot easier to drink than uh, some of their counterparts. Oh yeah, absolutely. Across the world. And I hear Ireland likes to drink. Yes. I, yeah. Could be a rumor. It could be. I don't know. Never been there. All right. Should we try the the stout next? Move on to the stout here. Oh, okay, so the smell is a little bit different in this yeah, one. Yeah, for sure. Um, ooh. Yeah, you get a little bit of um, chocolate on the end of that one. Oh, that, Rather than, yeah, I mean yeah. it's it, it's doing exactly what we thought it would do. Right. Yeah, you, you get a little citrus from the IPA, a little chocolate from the stove. Yeah, you could easily predict what it's going to taste like. It's Jameson with chocolate, or Jam Jameson with citrus. That's not nothing. Nothing wrong with it. No. It's just someone was telling me that they 
actually mix Jameson with beers sometimes. Like, Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know. I've never I had it. I think, if I'm correct, that maybe it's not that way at this point, that they get their barrels from Ennis and Gun Brewing. Oh, okay. Well, it is craft, so it's not going to be like Guinness. No, no, I, I think it's Ennis and Gun, which is a, a little smaller operation Okay. in Ireland. But they make some killer beers that, that we unfortunately don't have at the store. Well, it's hard um, just kind of predicting what people are actually going to buy. Yeah, no kidding. Stuff that will just sit there. <laughs> Got plenty of stuff that people uh, aren't buying. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But they're buying Spike Seltzers by record numbers. Oh, my numbers. God. You know how many, like, singles we sold of that? Like, this weekend? It was ridiculous. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure that's crazy. Yeah. And that, that that door in the cooler always looks like... Oh, it looks like ass. Chaos women just ransack yeah. it. <laughs> it looks like um, someone did, like, a, a one-hour panty sale. It's like seventy five percent off, and the women just went nuts. <laughs> They're all fighting like, over the yeah. bin. <laughs> that door is the hardest to keep up with. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Every time I walk by it, it's it's destroyed. Yeah. We had um, like five or six uh, deliveries on Saturday. Four of them had white claw in them. Of course. <laughs> And then I did three on Sunday, and one of them was White Claw. So, it was just, I don't know. Because it's got no sugar. Yeah. It's good for you. It's for the ladies. And no, no, this was, uh, <laughs> this was one of our, our male customers oh. who orders a lot from us. Okay. Yep. So, it's not just for the ladies. It's for everyone. I mean, I should be drinking them, but I'm not gonna. I'm not counting calories, damn it. Not yeah. what I'm drinking. No, nah, fair enough. Not after that uh, that last video, if that didn't scare you into... <laughs> hey, what? I, I look great in the fisheye lens. Yeah, it's yeah the fisheye lens just doesn't do you any justice. More of this. <laughs> Which you guys will catch that video um, <laughs> next week. This will be our last live video for uh, two weeks, I guess. Yeah. Because um, we won't have a live video next week. But I do have one scheduled to be published. Um, I will be on vacation. Yeah, this handsome son of a bitch leaving for the Dominican Republic later. Yeah, tonight. Tonight. Yeah, so I, uh, I can't drink too much of this. Yeah, yeah come on. <laughs> Keep it reasonable. They won't let me on the plane if I whip my dick if out. If you've been overserved already. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Um, I was looking at TSA regulations. And you know how they say you can take the shooter bottles, and as long as you can fit them in a Ziploc bag, you can take them on the plane with you? Yeah. The regulation right below that says that you're not allowed to drink any alcoholic beverage that hasn't been served by the... Um, by the airline itself. Airline. Oh, that's, that's hilarious. Yeah. Nobody gives a shit about that regulation, though. Yeah, there's <laughs> no... What's the point of bringing it on the plane... In shooters, if you can't drink it. <laughs> I mean, you're just going to hand them out as gifts when you land. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, I mean, Congratulations, it's... everybody. Hey, shitty Santa. <laughs> <laughs> hey, pi pilot, thanks for uh, making it here alive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to start giving pilots booze as gifts. Oh, my God. I mean, <laughs> Good luck to the next flight. <laughs> <laughs> they say the planes practically fly themselves, but... I'm sure you could still screw it up pretty easily. Oh, I'm sure you could. Well, I mean, I think it did... Uh, what was it? it was somewhere in Europe, like last year, the year before, the pilot was on antidepressants or something like that. He went off his meds. And oh yeah. What was that? That was ridiculous. Yet, the most successful suicide attempts, ever. Yeah. That's more than murder suicide. That's mass murder suicide. Yeah, I mean you're really, you're putting up numbers at that yeah. point. Yeah. At that point. Good lord. And one swift move. Just the best part is now the doors are locked. So when they were going down, people couldn't even like bust in and stop the pilot. <laughs> Another thing ruined by 9-11. <laughs> right. Like masturbating on an airplane. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I can't get to the pilot anymore. That's come on. Yeah, we said go shot for shot in the cockpit. <laughs> I just want to. <laughs> well, I want to just go in there and uh, rub him down a little, keep him mm. keep him loose and calm. Yeah, and quick handy, release quick some handy. tension, a little handy. <laughs> I want my I want my pilot real relaxed. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I was on a plane once. And I fell asleep, because I can sleep on planes, I don't have a problem. But in my dream, while I was sleeping, the plane started going down. And so I woke up in a fucking panic. Oh, <laughs> like, man. That was the scariest moment, I think. <sighs> well, maybe the second scariest moment of my life. I was in a landing back where I'm from in Dayton, coming from L.A. once, and we had this little connector, tiny little puddle jumper plane, mm-hmm. where it was literally like the two and one seats mm-hmm. like two seats on one side yeah. one seat yeah. on the other and we dipped down to this electrical storm to land and at one point I couldn't even make out where the plane position was yeah. and I looked out my window and I was just looking at the ground nice it was like fully so I was like <laughs> oh, okay <laughs> and this huge guy this group of like huge like linebacker looking guys mm-hmm. one of them just started crying yeah, and I'm, all of the rest of us were just more uncomfortable by him. <laughs> Everyone around him was like, "Okay, man, mm, all right, calm down there, buddy." <laughs> I mean, that guy must have been like six six three twenty, and he was just <laughs> lost it. All right, so uh, I'm pretty sure, as our viewers can see, I think the chocolate and the Jameson kind of it counterbalances each other, and so for me, I like that more. Than having the citrus notes um, in the Jameson, uh, just because, like Irish whiskey, citrus notes. That's kind of like, I don't know. It's so light and floral as it is that citrus notes just kind of go with. Yeah, it's there's nothing. There's nothing pushing back against yeah, it. Exactly. It just kind of goes with it. Whereas stout with chocolate and stuff, those are. Those are flavors you normally get in like a bourbon or um, something on that end. So it's kind of really contradictory and making it more interesting on the taste buds. Um, but do you want to pop open this, uh, All right, let's this see middle what's one? What's going on here? That's, uh, I might get in trouble for this. I don't know. Uh oh. Whoa. Where was that bad boy hiding? <laughs> <laughs> that was. Uh, Back behind the bar, believe it or not. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that may or may not have been being hidden by a coworker of ours. Oh. Yeah, it's ours now. Yeah. <laughs> that is yeah. awesome. It's been there since I started working there. So. Oh, we haven't. I mean, that was two years ago. Easily. So. Yeah. yeah. Good job, man. Yeah. All right. So cool. we've got the... Great Divide Brewing, which is right here in Denver. Um, I think they're doing another one. There's another Jameson that's going to be coming out that's with a Colorado brewery. Really? And I can't remember if it's another Great Divide. Probably. So this one... I'm trying to remember what it was. I think it was just a a lager barrel. Mm. Well, I think they... They released it for the, um, what is it? Was it the Great? GBF. Yeah. Great American Beer. Beer. Festival. Festival or whatever yeah. it is. Yeah. yeah. I, I forgot the word festival. I couldn't yeah. think of that. <laughs> That's the word. Festivities. Yeah, yeah. I think what this was, was it, it was a dark lager. Hmm. That they, the barrel they took it from. Nice. I like the classy, uh, snaps of the... The yeah. twist cap coming off. Yeah, it doesn't have the same effect as the old cork popping. Cork popping. Which, by the way, the cork popping, we we praise the Bloodhounds about his cork. Or Bloodhound. Blood Oath. Blood Oath. We, play, we praise the Blood Oath about its cork. We thought it was cool because it looked like an old pirate rum cork yeah. or something like that. And, and half of it broke off in the bottle. Yep. Broke on me. Yep. <laughs> so that was, uh, sure. All right, let's uh, find this one out. Ooh. Okay. Right off, you get some uh, 
Is it like caramel? On the yeah, there? it's kind of, yeah. It's a... Like a very dark caramel. Like mm-hmm. it's... Um, almost... Cooked. Yeah. Almost to the point of being burnt. Yeah, the caramelized sort of thing. Yeah. Like... Shout out to Great Divide as well. It's one of my favorite freaking breweries out here. Yeah, well they do... Um, the Yeti, which is an awesome stout, and um, they partner with Bear Creek. I just happen to have a bottle here. Oh yeah, um, it's the Yeti Bear Creek edition, uh, where they just finished Bear Creek whiskey in the Yeti bottle or in the Yeti barrels. Um, it's pretty awesome. That's definitely one of my favorites. That's why we're not drinking out on this show. That's why. <laughs> That's why I'm not allowed to have any. Yeah. We might get some for a future episode, maybe. But for right now, we got Jameson. That's it. I do like that smell. Oh, man, that is all, like, that's, like, candied caramel toffee. Hmm. That's a, right from the beginning on that one. That's a big impact on the Jameson right that there. That is huge. Yeah. Yeah, toffee. I'm just getting toffee. Like, Yeah, it's a lot of toffee. Man, I have to drink that real quick. That is uh, insane at how much... I wonder, like, how long they finished each of them. Because usually it's one to three months. Like, yeah. That's, uh, that's a finishing time. I think this was in the barrel longer for the finish it has to be because it normally when you finish with a certain type of barrel it kind of changes the last note that you get um but this right from the beginning you get like toffee and then it kind of tapers off to like that caramel and then it finishes um fairly dry kind of like um Man, I can't think of the word for it right now. It's like... Like... Whoppers. You ever oh, have Whopper candies? Yeah, the, like the malt. Yeah. The dry malt. It's like, like the dry malt covered in chocolate? Yeah. That's exactly what it kind of huh, like yeah. reminds me of. Man, that is surprising. That one blows me away. I can't believe how much this changed uh, the Jameson, especially compared to the other two, which is probably why they only did like a limited thing um, because it doesn't taste like Jameson anymore. You nailed the, the lingering note on the end. It's a whopper. Yeah, it's a whopper. That's crazy. My kid would love this whiskey. <laughs> I used to hate those things. They get stuck in your teeth. Oh, and like, uh. Gabe went through a phase with those things. Yeah. I have to buy like another the little cartons mm-hmm. like every week. Wow. I don't know what the deal was, but my dad also was obsessed with them. Like there were always <laughs> whoppers around. Wow, that's crazy. That's definitely my favorite. Oh yeah, by far. Um, by far. Not saying anything bad about the other two. I agree with you that the IPA one is just like, okay, it's a, a slight addition that just yeah. goes just with goes it. with it. It's just it goes with the flow. The the stout brings a little chocolate that helps make it more interesting, fights a little bit. Biggest thing is that like Irish whiskeys tend to not be very robust. Yeah, they're they're lighter flavors. weight. They're very sure. lighter. Like, um, especially the Red Breast, one of my favorite whiskeys, the Red Breast 12 year. Um, and they just, it's still, it maintains that Irish spirit where it's just, it's light across the way. I th- it's got to have to do with the, um, triple distilling. Yeah, it's their yeah. tradition. It's yeah. always been lighter than Scotch whiskeys or bourbons. Right. Like. And Irish whiskey, if you're not familiar with the difference between like Irish and, Scotch whiskeys. Uh, there's no smoke in this. No, I don't know nothing. There's um, and there's one American distillery that does everything by Irish standards. 
Really? The triple distillation, the whole the whole thing. It's Woodford. Woodford Reserve. They do an Irish whiskey? They do. They follow the Irish standard. And they make a bourbon with it. All their stuff is triple distilled. Wow. Yeah. Did not know that. Yep. That's pretty impressive. I've been down to the distillery. It's the cleanest distillery I've ever seen. It's just the three stills in this room with nothing. It's like <laughs> totally clean. It's beautiful. Like the location's oh, I'm sure, beautiful. Yeah. It's but it's like whoever runs that place. Yeah, you gotta be anal. About OCD, it. like yeah. for sure. Because I've also been to Dickel. Yeah. That place is just a nightmare. Really? There's just shit everywhere. Oh man. They're still using um, stills that have like the little pen and paper. Like for the readouts. Oh yeah, okay. So it's a like temperature the analog meters. Yeah. yeah, and it like it writes out on oh, the thing. Man. It's it's really like um, best way I can describe Dickel's Distillery is like steampunk. Like everything. Okay. It's it's like unintentionally steampunk. And then Woodford Reserve, on the other hand, would be like a clean room in Resident Evil. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> My brother bought the second one yesterday. I hadn't gotten a chance to play it yet, but oh, you know the remake. It's fun. Yeah, it's it's fun and it it's and it's horrifying. It's hard. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I just remember my stepdad playing the original one when I was growing up. I remember playing the original too when I got my first PlayStation. Oh man! And I was like blown away. Yeah. And now I look at him like it's cubes. The yeah. graphics are just cubed out. You're like, running on a popsicle stick. Yeah. Just like... <laughs> yeah, but back then, I was like, whoa. Yeah. It came off of, like, Super Mario to... It was so funny, though, because, like, the cubed, horrible graphics could still scare the shit out of you. Yeah. Because you, you feed a certain amount of your imagination into it. Right, right. Whereas with the new ones, you still do that, and they're pretty realistic, so now it's worse... Well, I think that's probably why video games over the years have grown to a wider and wider audience is because less and less imagination is needed. It's kind of like D&D is all, will always be considered like the nerdy thing to do because you have to use 100% of your imagination. And uh, a lot of people don't do that. Yeah. Or they, or they think imagination is like nerdy. But, but people in our age range, like, we play stuff like the new Resident Evil 2, mm -hmm. and we still put Imagine It, because we're yeah. used to doing it. So yeah. that game terrifies me. Yeah, no. But heck? I'm sure there's, like, 13-year-old kids playing that game who are just like, eh, whatever. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, though, I told you when I tried to do the VR Resident Evil 7. Oh, yeah. It lasted, like, 10 minutes. I was like, yeah, I can't no. do this. <laughs> we had one game... Um, that we actually returned because we were like we're never playing that again uh, it was like home sweet home or something like that and it was you wake up in this dark ass room and you have nothing to go off of you're just in this room and so you're like you go out of the room and there's just shit piled up in the hallway and you're like crawling under stuff you have a flashlight but like the battery dies and stuff okay good good yeah that kinda, doesn't sound like fun. Yeah, no. It kind of reminded me of uh, like the Slender Man games. Okay. Yeah. See, that's just my life. But in life. VR. That's how I wake up a lot of days. Oh, okay. I how did I get here? Everything's dark. I'm crawling under <laughs> shit. My head hurts. I don't know what's happening. God, that smell. It's like... Um, not my Italian grandmother, but my other grandmother. Like, going to her house and she's baking something yeah or, this you know, is, that's like, it man it's it was, something good being baked yeah. in the kitchen it's crazy I don't know if I can go back to the IPA after this let me try it I'll do that yep that Jameson and that citrus I just want to eat a bear claw with that one. <laughs> this is like uh, Jameson's attempt at a at a warm summer day beverage. <laughs> That's what it comes across. 
as. Yeah. Uh, it's good. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying anything that I wouldn't have it. Um, it's just exactly what you would expect. It's just not enough of a difference to really... Yeah. <laughs> like, so, in comparison, Long Talkie does that. Um, it's technically considered a beer schnapps instead of a whiskey um, because it is distilled from hopped beer. Um, but the hops in that is insane compared to this one. Like, a whole different ballpark. Oh, yeah. It's a whole different beast. Uh, but I kind of, I guess I was expecting closer to that than what I got. Um, well, yeah, but they, they don't distill out anything with the right. hops. It's just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's I know that they also, the... you can also buy the opposite end of this. The barrels they get that they finish the Jameson and they then send back to the brewery they came from and then they age beers. Well, I know uh, Great Divide did that. Mm. I don't know which beer it was. I never had it. I didn't either. I think um, it was super limited. It might have just been like at their distillery. Yeah, or, I think so. At their tasting room. Um, but yeah, that's awesome. I hope we get to try that on on podcast yeah, we'll, that'd be nice we'll figure it out yeah I mean Kurt gave us the cigars he said he might give us you know he might uh, try to get us hooked up with a bottle here also if anyone sees this and wants to throw us a bottle of Red Breast 21 year old I'd be oh. I'd be fine with that there we go Red Breast 21 or Hibiki 21 or yeah, yeah. <laughs> We'd greatly appreciate anything over yeah. uh, 18 years. Anything. <laughs> well, I that mean, sounded... I like them at 18 yeah, years. <laughs> <laughs> sounded like I was asking for de- prostitute delivery. Mm. Anything over 18. Send me your daughter from Russia. Yeah, Just... <laughs> <laughs> We're taking whiskey, cigars, and daughters on this show. Oh, man. God, this one, I can't, I can't get enough. Yeah. I don't know who uh, put this back there, but I hope they're disappointed. Yeah, I think it's, you know who it was. Oh, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Because he's the only one who would hide it back there. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> well, he's on vacation now, so. <laughs> and I'm on vacation now, so he'll probably forget about it by the time, even if he sees this. I won't, yeah, I won't see either of you guys for like the next two weekends. Yeah. Well, no, um... I guess you'll be you'll be I'll back. I'll be back next Tuesday. Mid-week well, week after week after this. Yeah, I'll be back to work on Wednesday. Okay. So. Hmm. I don't want to put that down. No man. It's just this is the most surprising. I just want to sit at my my grandma's dining table. No. Yeah. Doing a word search. <laughs> well, she bakes me up something real nice. With a crayon in your hand, like like the reverse knife held. Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> mm, I got this one. Mm. It's hard with the big crayons. Oh, it's yeah, It's a small sure. space to work in. <laughs> I think I use the safety crayons. Uh, is it Was that the point of the big crayon when we were, like, in kindergarten? Was it safety? You couldn't stub so it up didn't, your like, nose? So stab each other? Yeah. Yeah. Was that the whole point of those? Maybe. So we didn't jam them in each other's eyeballs and up our noses. Yeah. The crayons in kindergarten were uh, the equivalent of toothbrushes in prison. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bunch of kindergartners <laughs> shanking each other in the shirts. <laughs> <laughs> we have got to make an animated series about a kid prison. Kid prison. Like kindergarten as a prison. Yeah. Yeah, yeah where they're sharpening crayons. And- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we call it the the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, when you walk the the mile to the electric chair, it's called the Yellow Brick Road. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's the time out. All right. <laughs> we need to take this to uh, 
John Mulaney and Nick Kroll. Oh, yeah. They could totally make it. I mean, they, they have one of the best animated shows out there. Yeah. Um, Big Mouth, if you Big haven't Mouth. seen it. Oh. It's on Netflix. Oh, my God. Hilarious. So funny. Those guys kill me. It will... Uh, it does push the limits in a lot of ways that'll make you uncomfortable. Um, but it's fucking hilarious. Yeah. Watch it with the kids if your kids are cool. No, do not watch it with your kids. <laughs> no matter how cool your kids are. No. Even if you can, like, if you told your kid that you tried to have them aborted and they're, like, cool with it, even if they're that cool. I wouldn't watch it. Wow, <laughs> really? Yeah, no. Okay, all Mm-mm. right. Mm-mm. I try to imagine getting that news. Yeah, I don't know. As a kid, like, yeah, I tried. Yeah. And here you are. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, fuck you. Get what you pay for. <laughs> $75, this is what you get. Just kind of a fucked up kid. <laughs> you ever wonder why you have that, like, part in your hair? You vacuumed out it's one a... eye. <laughs> why was I born with one eye? The other one's in the Hoover, kid. Yeah. <laughs> or, like, you had a twin. We thought we got both of you in the abortion. <laughs> <laughs> we got most of the other one, but you got a foot in your side. Yeah. We, we missed it. It's just growing on the inside. You can't see it. Oh, that shit <laughs> weirds me out. Yeah. Like, when that really happens. like. Ugh. And then you got you to gotta deal with it. You got to either surgically remove it. Or you just fucking leave it there. Yeah. And removing stuff like that can have bad consequences. Oh, yeah. Like, it can be fatal. Yeah, because it's just in there. Right. We had uh, Dayton, where I grew up, we had the oldest living Siamese twins. Oh. And you just see them walking down the street. Like, that was part of my life. I'd wow. be downtown walking, I'd be like, oh, there's the, uh, the Siamese twins. And they'd fight. You could, like... Mm see them having arguments and you couldn't help but laugh right they're you like, can at that point this much space between their heads and they're yelling yeah. at each other you're like <laughs> that's mm-hmm. awesome but yeah i mean they never got severed because i think they told them because of how they were attached it would probably be fatal to oh, at least okay. one of them right i mean it's a 50 50 chance at that point if you're having enough arguments you might as well go for that's it that's what i'm saying <laughs> Yeah, I've tried. I wear it's me and my dad always talked about like what it must have been like if one of them's trying to hook up. Yeah. Like, how the hell does that work? It's always a three way. Always. Always. Yeah. And how do you pick like which one you're into? What if you are dating the one and you tell her that you want to sleep with her sister? <laughs> <laughs> I slept with your sister. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I've had enough of the left. I kind of want a little right. I need a little know? right. Need a little I, right in my life. I need. I need the angle different. Yeah. This time. That's all it is. Oh man. Sometimes just about the angle and angle. So look out for Rob and I's new animated series about kid prison. Yeah. And our documentary on Siamese twins fucking. Yes. <laughs> We're gonna Get ask the real questions <laughs> that Discovery Channel doesn't have the balls to ask. <laughs> Wow, we have a lot going on. We're going to green light some projects. Oh, man. You pitch anything to Netflix these days. Oh, they don't care. Yeah. It's so much money, they'll throw anything out there. Yeah. It kind of sucks, though. Um, Disney's making their new streaming service, and they think, like, oh, it's going to take <coughs> revenue away from Netflix because they're, they're pulling all the Marvel, Marvel yeah. and Disney movies and stuff. The truth of it is that People are just going to subscribe to both. Yeah. And eventually, we talked about it, I think. Eventually, it'll just be all of us who dropped cable and just have streaming services. In a year or two, we'll be paying just as much as yeah. we would have for cable. Except without commercials. Yeah. Except for Hulu, because we pay for fucking Hulu to have like the live TV. And we'll watch things that are on demand. That still have commercials. Yeah, we yeah, have to I've got Hulu too. Yeah, that's it's, fucking retarded. Yeah. Hulu, you're a bitch, and I hate you. <laughs> you are a bitch. If Hulu sees this, fuck them. Yeah, that's fine. That's, yeah, it's fine. The only thing I'm using it right now for is uh, the Showtime edition because there's like 
one show I'm watching on Showtime. Oh. We use it for Game of Thrones, and now that's over. Can we finally talk about Game of Thrones? Yeah, we can probably not. do it. It's like uh, what we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna disagree a little bit. We, yeah, uh, not all the whole way. last season, fucking garbage. Yeah, I don't like it. I'm fine. I was fine with the ending. Fine with it, except that Arya's not getting her spinoff. Yeah, that's. It seems like that's not that's happening. What a waste. Yeah. <sighs> fucking stupid. Yeah. But the pacing of the whole season was shit. Oh, it was garbage. Garbage. Let's fit everything in six. You should have minimum of ten. It should yeah, have minimum been. of ten. It should have been, in my opinion, realistically, two extra seasons. It should have been one full season to finish off the White Walkers. Yeah, right. And then a full season dealing with Cersei. But her just losing it at the end, murdering all those people... And then John Stavener, fucking retarded. It was just, it was, there was no build. Yeah, no. It was just, everything just happened. Yeah. Like, like the Night King death scene, you're just like, oh, sh- okay. That was cool the way they did that. Yeah, it was cool I the way like they that. did it. But I mean, that could, you're right, that part of it could have lasted six episodes by itself. The White yeah. Walker saga could have been, instead it was one. Right, right. And it just... Even if it was cool, it ended so abruptly. I want to know how many speaking lines were in that episode. Because uh, oh, right? wow. the Battle of Winterfell was a lot of slow motion battle shots and not much else. I remember when I first tried to watch it, it was still kind of light outside. In, in, like, in I, mean, the apartment. I couldn't see I anything. Was just like... nah. <laughs> the whole episode. I just want to see the episode. I don't even think I saw it. No. Like... It was so damn dark, and I thought it was just me and our TV, and then I saw it like all over the internet. Everyone's like, "What the fuck just happened?" Yeah, if there wasn't dragon fire in a scene, you couldn't see anything. No, exactly. <laughs> There's nothing. And by the way, tactic tactically speaking, they really messed up that battle. Yeah, it was you just horrible. Go out with the dragons first. Take out as many as you can. They held the dragons back. Yeah, they and did the undead. Well, because they were worried about the the king throwing the javelin or whatever. But speaking of that, you didn't see any of the other White Walkers, the full on White Walkers, do anything. They didn't do a damn thing. No, you saw the Night King, and you saw the Wraiths, which are like the uh, the dead people that they rose, and, and or the Whites. That's what they call them. Yeah, the Whites. Yeah. And another thing to me is like they do the whole dramatic. Dragon fire to the Night King and it yeah. doesn't affect him. Yeah, and you're like, oh man, this is gonna get, go on forever. And then ten minutes later, he's dead. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. oh, okay, well, yeah. guess it wasn't that handy that he yeah, can't no. die by dragon fire. But then they did the thing where they did the dragon fire, but then you never find out why he's immune to dragon fire. I, yeah, I mean, the only implication is that he's. Targaryen. Right, that he's Targaryen. And probably Stark. He's probably right. John. Well, in the like, book, um, I think he was he was alluded to as one of the first Starks. Yeah. Um, yeah, because the Starks were one of the first to show up with the first men and all that right. in the north. But, yeah, so... But the way they kind of left it, like, yeah, power in... The Six Kingdoms is completely different the way it's done now. Um, but John going north, is it supposed to be like he becomes the next Night King? Is that what the... I I took it as he's becoming the next Mance Raider. Right. He's not going to go back to the to the wall. He's going to be gonna the king of the north. He's going to stay up north and be yeah. the king of the north. Yeah. But is he also going to be the uh, Lord Commander? <laughs> I don't think he. I I think he. The implication was he's not going back to the keep ever. No, he's gonna oh, okay. he's gonna take the wildlings out and that's it and just disappear. Yeah, that's fair enough. Nobody's gonna look for him out there. No, I mean Tormund's running the keep. Tormund didn't give a shit. He's just you know, yeah. Tormund went north with them, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but so basically nobody's at uh, nobody that the matters Black Castle. a fucking bit is no. at at Castle Black. Castle Black, yeah. <laughs> 
They're yeah. they're defenseless if anything happens. Yeah. It's no a, main characters there. Everyone's dying. <laughs> it's basically all uh, Star Trek ensigns, like red shirt guys who yeah. die in every episode. No, it's basically uh, what was that? Um, the boy went back to his home to evacuate it all the way to Winterfell, and by the time they got there, the dead had already overrun it. Everyone died. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what it would have been. But now I guess there's no threat to the North? I don't know. All I know is there's supposed to be prequels being made. Right. The one is supposed to be Aegon's Conqueror of the Seven Kingdoms. Um, and then I don't know what the other one is. I don't know. I'm hoping that they do. I would like to see one just about Robert Baratheon's rise. Oh, like the wars? Because mm-hmm. oh, okay. this character in the books was so badass. Was it? Yeah, when he oh. when he won the throne and he fought with a war hammer, like this giant yeah. war hammer. I think he sounds like a badass. Yeah, no, but he's uh, he goes from badass to fat ass. Hey, man, it happens to the yeah. best of us. Yeah, I mean, look at <laughs> Thor. <laughs> Those are my two costume options for this Halloween. I'm either yeah. going to be Robert Baratheon or Fat Thor. Right. Right. Oh, and for anyone wondering that sees this and is trying to make this out, this is uh, something my ex had made for me. It's my son's uh, face over Jon Snow sitting on the throne there. And yeah. it says Game of Thrones because we sent him to his room so we could watch Game of Thrones. And he got mad and started walking towards the room, turned around, looked at us, and he said, It's Game of Thrones! Mm. So here it is, the debut. There you go. <laughs> We'll just make a parody. You know what? We'll do the prison in kindergarten, and Gabe will oh. be the king. <laughs> awesome. It's all coming together now. This is how our show is developed. We're going to be rich. <laughs> oh, man. If this doesn't make me rich, nothing's going to make me rich. Right. So. No one's rich. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, it's, uh, it's Memorial Day. It is Memorial so Day. So I want to say thank you to all servicemen and women. and Well, actually Memorial Day is just for those who died. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I'm still thanking them because... Right. Well, you can thank, thank us on Veterans Day. I'll do that too. That's it. I'll do both. No, I don't I don't need Memorial Day. I'll th- I mean, I'll thank you guys every day. I don't, I don't fair care. enough. Because fair enough. Uh, if you guys didn't do it, I'd have to and I don't want to do that. Yeah, fair enough. That's, uh, that's a pretty good point. But I mean, my my grandfather was a was a veteran that fought uh, in Europe during World War Two, and nice. so so to the to those that gave their lives, to those that served, thanks. You know what um, was probably one of the coolest things about being in the Marine Corps is learning all the Marine Corps history and stuff. Oh, I bet. And during World War Two, we were in the Pacific fighting. And if you haven't seen it, uh, it's by the same people who did Band of Brothers, oh, okay. which is in Europe in World War II. Um, they, they did The Pacific, is what it's called. Oh, really? And it's all about the Marine Corps in the Pacific fighting to get to Japan. Really? It is fucking incredible. I love Band of Brothers, so... Oh, man. It's so good. I mean, it doesn't have uh, Schwimmer, David Schwimmer in it, but, you know... <laughs> You can do it without the giraffe from... David Schumer, um, I forgot about that. <laughs> the giraffe from Madagascar for a little while. But yeah, it's fucking incredible what some of these guys went through. And you never hear about the Pacific battles, except for Iwo Jima. Yeah. And that's only because it's literally the Marine Corps memorial is that picture from Iwo Jima. Right. Yep. yep. Which is funny because that picture... Isn't even the first flag raising on Nima Jima. It's the second. They redid it a couple hours later. Really? Yeah. Like, like photo op yeah. style? Yep. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. I did not know that. I mean, it might. There might still have been fighting going on, but the <laughs> first. That's even yeah. more impressive. Yeah. If they went, <laughs> if they went for second photo op, and people are still just yeah. live shooting, and they're just like, no, 
a little more to the right. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but um, one of the coolest uh, points in my life was going to the Marine Corps uh, Museum in Quantico, and they have that flag. Like, no oh. shit, that flag. That's at Quantico? Up. Yeah. It's fucking awesome. Uh, and especially Memorial Day, you got to kind of think about that thing. You know, Iwo Jima, 50,000 casualties. Uh, most Marine Corps, some Navy, even a couple Coast Guard, which surprised the shit out of me, but they've got a whole fucking wall. You can, like, look through all of them. The Coast Guard just accidentally get in the way? Or? I don't know if they, like... Stowed on board a ship and then. <laughs> I have a buddy who was in the Coast Guard and I give him shit all the time. Yeah. Because it's like people will list just general civilians will lift off list off the branches. Yeah. And half the time they don't they forget. And oh they yeah, they don't it. say Coast Guard. That's because it's the smallest branch. <laughs> yeah. But little known fact, Coast Guard actually has the second hardest boot camp. Really. Yep. Right behind the Marine Corps. Because you have to swim so much in the Coast Guard boot camp. Oh, okay. That a lot of people can't pass it. Huh. I never thought of that. Yeah. I didn't know it um, really until I was talking to a bunch of Coast Guard guys. When I was doing um, funeral detail in D.C., you know, you'd hook up with a bunch of Coast Guard or Air Force or Army and you just bullshit with them for a while. The Coast Guard is about as big as the New York City Police Department. What? Yeah. About 40,000 members. That's it? Yep. Wow, that's tiny. Yeah, I, uh, before I worked at the store, oddly enough, I was in home health care. And I was, like, doing, like, nursing stuff, basically. And I took care of this guy. You were nursing babies? No, 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 no. They were suckling at your teeth? No, like, no, no. (laughs) I mean, at this point, it's fair game. Yeah, but... (laughs) <laughs> um, no, I was taking care of my main client was a, a guy who was in the Coast Guard for like full term. Oh, damn. And he had MS and like no mobility. And a big right. part of it was because that boat paint they used in like the 50s and 60s. Oh, was like pure lead. Damn. And they just they didn't care. Well, because it holds up the salt water. Yeah. 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 And it is all over them. They're breathing it in for yep. 20 years. I was like, oh, man, that's rough. Especially on a boat. Confined. Like, and mo- a lot of his service was in the <clears throat> American Samoa, and oh. he is that the Girl Scout cookie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except it's the American, so it's uh, it's red, white, and blue. It's red, Girl white, Scout and blue, cookie. and there's Velveeta in the middle. Yeah, if you, if Girl Scout cookies are watching, the people who make those, and you make a red, white, and blue Samoa, we want royalties. Yep, so you're we're locked in. You're done. <laughs> Man, I could I could eat a Samoa with this. Oh hell yeah, you could. Oh damn, why don't we have Samoas? Fat yeah. kid needs a Samoa. Fat kid, there you go. Is it? It's not even season, is it? For Girl Scout cookies? No, it already passed. Oh. They were outside of the store selling them. That's right. I should have bought like twenty boxes of those things. They sold so much. I guess it was something like they were told they couldn't sell outside of King Supers, and so they stood outside of us. Yeah. I don't know. And they said they did better. Yeah, outside our store, because you got about drunks and yeah, hell yeah, hotheads coming out of our <laughs> store. I've gotten a couple calls now, where they're like, "Oh, I'm sorry, I, th- I thought I was calling the dispensary." <laughs> and I'm like, "Yeah, we've been here for twenty fucking years, and they move in after three months. You're mixing up our names. Well, we don't really have our name plastered anywhere. It just kind of says beer and liquor." Yeah. Inside the store. You know, the funny part is the most noticeable sign for our store is across the street from us. If you go into the old entrance to the mall, like the old mall setup, okay. there's still a Twin Peaks liquor sign because it used to be over like in that strip where Hobby Lobby is and all that. Oh, by where the Walmart was over there. That's where Twin Peaks liquor originally <clears throat> opened. And there's still, 20 years after they moved, a sign for that little strip. Really? Yeah. I have not seen that. They never took it down. I just figured people see the uh, the truck. You know, that's 
probably yeah. about it. That's yeah, I still have people that are like, I turned the other way because I saw your sign. I'm like, oh, yeah, that sign was from 20 years ago. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we're a little bit behind the times at our store. Yeah, what are you going to do? Yeah, we're going to play catch up. That's what we're going to do. Oh, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> or we're just going to close. Who no. Knows? I don't think that'll happen. I think he's going to sell it. Why are you saying this on air? Because <laughs> he's not going to see this. He might. I he think, might. I think Nick's checking it out. Is he? Yeah. No, I didn't know that. Damn. I know Todd called one day and like we were talking business for a few minutes and then all of a sudden he was like, I saw your stand up. I was like, I'm sorry, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, Adam had a stand up uh, this past weekend. Uh, no, I didn't end up doing you it. You didn't end up doing it? No. Why not? Because the it was also a first date night for me with right. someone. And there's no way to talk and get to know mm-hmm. someone because you can't talk over the comedians. Okay. And I would have been like nervous the whole time leading up to going up. So I was like, let's do that later when okay. when we're a little more comfortable. So when is your next show then? Um, <clears throat> as far as what I'm planning right now... I would imagine I'll probably try to go up this next Saturday. Oh, okay. So I'll be gone. Yeah. But I mean, I and I should have another like new talent night spot coming up pretty soon. Oh, nice. So I put in every week, and <clears throat> the more you do it, the, the quicker it turns around. Right. Right. So okay. hopefully after you get back, a couple weeks after you get back, it'll be about time. So in the new and upcoming stages, um, Adam's going to have some shows coming up. Uh, we're going to have a distillery tour, hopefully. Um, With this killer little rig that Rob put together. Oh, yeah. This it's thing is uh, awesome, man. And I got the adapter now, so I can record the audio with my phone. So when stuff. you plug that new adapter in, it, it recognizes yeah, it. Works. Okay. But the best part is the new adapter, I haven't showed you, has a split. One's headphone and one's microphone. So I can plug the headphones into it and you can monitor while you're what? recording. Yeah. Dude. Oh, that's awesome. It is legit as fuck. That's crazy. Yeah. And the stuff isn't like as expensive as I thought stuff no. like that would be. Mm-hmm. The only thing now, uh, I want to get a light for it. Oh, it's got a mount, right? Yeah, it's got a mount for a light. What what kind of thing would we need? Just like an LED? Yeah, it's just like a little LED box. You can find them on Amazon and stuff. But yeah, we'll um, be doing so. a, a live one pretty soon after after Rob gets back. Yeah, so for the distillery tour, we're going to probably um, film it. We might go Instagram live like on our phones for a little bit um, just to give people a sneak peek of what's coming up. Um, but basically... Uh, yeah, we're going to Long Tucky Distillery, which is a local one here in Longmont, Colorado. Um, we're hoping to have both distillers there. We're going to have at least HK. We're hoping to have John as well. Um, and they said, like, they pulled out barrels for us to try that are oh, aging yeah. and stuff. Um, different, uh, different stuff that they're working on. So we're really excited to get in there and uh, just see what kind of they're happening. I really think it would be wise for us to uh, have a driver for that. Well, Jen's going to be filming. Oh, that's right. So she can drive. Because I don't think that ends with us. No, no. Sober. That ends with us a lot less coherent (laughs) than we are right now. I'm taking another nip of this. Go for it. I still have this one, but I don't don't want that one. I don't want this one. (laughs) I I don't want it. Now, as a comparison to regular Jameson, what's the price difference on these? It's not that much. It's maybe $4 difference. $4 more for the castmates. For... Yeah, when you're talking about like a $20 bottle, $4 is... Is a high percentage. Well, yeah, it's a big chunk of that for yeah. sure. But I mean, it's still the castmates aren't like overpriced. You're still getting them for uh, what is it like 
20... 25, 26? 25, 24 99 regular. Something like that, yeah. Um, the Great Divide one, unfortunately, uh, limited release, I know we don't have any more. I don't know if you can find any more. Um, but it was significantly more expensive. It was, uh, I think it was like $15 more. Oh, was it really? Yeah, it was like 35 Cost-wise, it was? No. Oh, okay. On the shelf. I gotcha. 35 We may have upmarked <clears throat> that a little because of how limited it was. Well, yeah, I mean, you're not going to find that. No. Probably not. Nope. But if there is a new Jameson coming out with a Great Divide finish, definitely keep a lookout for that. Um, I'm hoping they do it again because that's fucking awesome. That's um, that's a dangerous bottle. That is definitely a uh, you don't want to remember tonight. Yeah, I, I don't remember last night. So oh, there you go. That would have been nice to have. That's a, a that's part of the reason why Adam was late today. Two hour delay of game brought to you by yours truly. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of a rough start. I'm little, fin- finally feeling normal because we're having whiskey, which is not a good sign. Yeah, a little bit of rain on the field. It's gonna bit. take him. <laughs> Some time to clear it off. <laughs> I woke up. I had to roll out the tarp. <laughs> oh man! So the reason why we're doing this on YouTube this week, uh, last week on Twitch, we had a couple watchers, and they tried to talk to us, but it wasn't going through in the chat for some reason. So I'm hoping that YouTube is refreshing enough that we're actually getting, if anybody's trying to talk to us, but it doesn't look like it. So. I don't know. We'll see. We'll still find out learn, later. Still learning. Yeah. Yeah, this is an up and coming, um, well, it's a podcast, but we do the YouTube thing just because talking heads, uh, you know, much like um, Joe Rogan does, it's a podcast, but you can watch them. Um, and we're going to be going through a lot of changes here within the next year, even. Yeah, well, yeah. it's going to be an evolution thing for sure. Like Pokemon? Yeah. Yeah. You're going to be, uh, mm. one day you'll be Charizard. Nice. <laughs> I actually saw Detective Pikachu last week. Oh, you did? Yeah. How was it? It's actually not bad. Is it Ryan Reynolds? <clears throat> yeah. Voicing Pikachu? Yeah. Nice little twist at the end there. M. Night Shyamalan style. Oh, I, I, was, I want to see it. I thought it looked interesting. No, it was good. Um, I was, the very first time I saw the trailer... I remember I was creeped out. I was like, that's too realistic. I don't like that. <laughs> the Uncanny Valley. Yeah. It's like that Sonic trailer. I don't know if oh. anybody's seen that, but it's fucking awful. My kid loves Sonic, and even he, I showed him the, <laughs> I showed him the trailer, and he was like, eh, I don't know. Yeah, no. The weirdest thing about it is the, the human teeth. Like, he has totally normal human no, teeth. No, I think the weirdest thing... Is his body, the way his body is shaped, when he's doing like those stretches or whatever? Because people all across the internet have photoshopped it to like changed it, and they changed his body more to what it would be in the in the video game right, and stuff. Yeah, and it looked decent enough without changing the face, but then they also changed the eyes and it looked exactly like him. And that's I like that. Um, but if they were going for more realistic, at least change the body so that it's not as human. It's more like pudgy body with long legs and arms. Yeah. And his arms are blue, which drives me nuts. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. I played a lot of Sonic. Yeah, no. Sonic was, uh, he was the shit back in the day. And they got, was it Jim Carrey playing Robotnik? Yeah, that is an awesome casting, though. Yeah, I mean... I think he's going to do fantastic. Well, I mean, yeah. You want you want a cartoony human, you call, oh, absolutely. You call Jim Carrey. That's him. That's him. That's it. You used to be able to call uh, Robin Williams. But, yeah. You know, yeah. God damn, Popeye is good. Popeye I, is I still great. love that movie. Oh, my God. And, you know, I was really pessimistic about Will Smith as the genie at first and it just looks ridiculous in some shots but I realize that only 
really in the trailer shots is he blue. In like the rest of the movie, because I you watch the extended trailer and stuff, he's just his natural. He's, they made him white. <laughs> yeah, they made him white. Yeah, exactly. They white. He looks like Brian Gumble. <laughs> he's just. <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. I thought he was just like bright ass blue for no, the whole thing. Not for the whole thing, no. Okay. Cause like they're at the party or whatever, and he is just Will Smith. Huh. And that I can totally I get I get behind that. I can find that. Okay. And I heard him singing um the genie song, like when he first finds the genie. And I was like, Okay, that's not bad. That's actually okay. Yeah. So you gotta watch the extended trailer. Don't hate on the movie just because the first trailer just shows Will Smith as blue and he's a genie because that's exactly what I did. I just didn't like that they put my boy in blue face. Yeah. But that's cool yeah. if he's just kind of him for a lot of it and then yeah. when he uses his powers or is more genie-like, yeah. he's kind of blue more or genie, whatever. He, turn, he turns blue. Which I kind of like how they did that. Praise Disney for that decision. Dude, Disney. Oof. What a powerhouse right this I point. know. Pretty much, um, the best thing that could happen to us right now is Disney buys our channel. <laughs> please, please, we'll take it. When is it? Is this the week that Brightburn's released? Oh, it might be. Um, yeah, that looks awesome. Oh man, what a cool idea! Like, and it's James Gunn. Yeah, who did a great. Plus well, the Gunn brothers. It's all of them. Oh, it is. That's right. Yeah, it's James Brian. Um. Shit, and the other two. Yeah, right. just basically like doing a really cool twist on the Superman origin. Yeah. Where that kid is not good. Yeah. Well, yeah, so if you haven't seen the trailer for that, it's basically uh, Smallville. But when he discovers his powers, he decides to kill everyone who's been bullying him and shit. And, like, their parents. Yeah, then apparently and, just everyone. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, then just... But... He starts taking down planes? I don't know. It's weird. I feel like that's... What would have happened if Robin, Robin had superpowers? No. No? No. Really? No, I just would have been raping everybody. <laughs> <laughs> he has a super ability to rape people. Yes. The super rapist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, the hell? My chair won't move back now. Oh, it's because I'm on this thing. That's what happens when you drink too much, ladies and gentlemen. You just, uh, your chair becomes over stuff. And you can't lean back. I don't think anybody who ends up being a follower of ours needs to be taught what, what happens. It's like to drink too much. Yeah, when you drink stuff. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> speaking of people who are following us, we did break 100 followers this weekend. Did we really? Yes, we did. All right. On Instagram. So that's fucking awesome. Yeah, cheers to everyone who's following Thank you. us. Thank yeah. you. You know what? I'm going to pour myself a little bit more Just a little more, man. Just a little bit more. What time's your flight? Like 11. Oh, damn. Yeah. You red eye in it? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm going to sleep the whole time. It doesn't what's, matter to me. What's the time difference? Um, I think it's East Coast time. They're Eastern? Yeah. Yeah, that would make sense. So it would be... Two hours. Two hours. Be uh, ahead of us. Ahead, yeah. Yeah. Because we land in Panama City, and it's like 6 a.m., but for us, it's only going to be about 4, because it's a five-hour flight. Okay. A little over five hours. Well, again, so. cheers to our, our followers. Thanks. Absolutely. Thank you so much. We appreciate any support we can get following, subscribing. Um, we had a record-breaking day the other day. With people downloading our podcast on various entities, uh, iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, uh, just listening off our website. Um, and we just appreciate any support we can get. Um, hopefully, we can get some Patreon support soon. If you really are looking for a way to, to just kind of give us that oomph, um, our where Patreon they, page is up. Where do they find us on Patreon? What's the exact... It's Morning Mash, Bill. Okay. You can look us up. Um, or you can get the link off of our website. <clears throat> um, in fact, I might even post it in the description of this one. Yeah. We'll probably, see. Yeah. Um, yeah, we, I mean, we're very reasonable with the Patreon thing right now. We, yeah. we know where we're at. Like, 
pretty much anything uh, is a huge help at this point. Huge. Because help. it's starting to get expensive at this point. Yeah. You and know, if we if we get enough just to cover whiskey, our whiskey, yeah. yeah. We can keep going. Rob and I are not point. a wealthy man. No. <laughs> but we're not planning on being wealthy men either. We're just kind of like, enough to get by, and then we'd be happy. That's yeah, it. I'd be thrilled. <laughs> Damn, this is so good. Mm. I'm glad I bought this bottle. Because I don't think he would have enjoyed it as much. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's gonna be mad. I know it, but he, it's all right. He has had all the stuff that's up in that. It was up in that little lattice yeah. work thing. Mm-hmm. This has all been up there for multiple years. Yeah, the up bottles there forever. are dusty as shit. Yeah, this was. When I pulled it down, I had to blow it off like a book that I found in an attic. It was like, whew. oh man, you're in the attic of the school with a never-ending story. Yeah, scenario. exactly. <sighs> yep. Except you don't. Get the hot princess. Or like the know. old treasure map, you know? Yeah. Oh, Goonies. Yeah. A little Goonies. Goonies. Style. Yep. I, by the way, I hope they never remake that. I will be pissed. Oh, my God. Because they remake You know everything. they're going to do it. They're going to cast, like, I don't know, fucking Justin Bieber or It's some just going to be all the Jonas Brothers. Yeah. It's just, <laughs> oh, it's going to be awful. <laughs> I already know it. They've run out of ideas. They're just kind of like, oh, what what sold well in the eighties? Let's do that again. Right. It's, well, now it's uh, now it's up to the nineties. Like, yeah. there's shit being remade that I'm like, I right. was an adult when that came out. <laughs> the hell is going on? You, you know, know Titanic. Yeah. At some point, they'll remake it. At some point. Um, at some point, they'll remake the hot, the Harry Potter movies. Right? Yeah. Oh, man. At some point. I'm probably going to be like an old man, and I'm going to see Harry Potter in theaters, so I'm going to be like, I already know what happens. We're not going. <laughs> but they'll give it to Christopher Nolan, and it'll be super dark. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, they did change directors in Harry Potter, like, after after the second movie. I think it was, like, on the third movie. You can noticeably see... That oh is yeah, because that was Prisoner of Azkaban. Prisoner of Azkaban. Yeah, with Gary Oldman, who was yes, awesome, fantastic. That guy's never bad. No, I don't think I've ever seen him in a role and been like, eh, I don't like that casting. No, he's yeah. one of the best actors alive. That's uh, what's the one? Uh, what am I thinking of? It's, uh, it's one of my favorite damn movies. Uh, Batman. Gary Oldman and Jean Reno and Natalie Portman. But oh, the uh, professional. The professional. God, I oh. love that movie. I think they're remaking that. Are they really? I think so. Uh, <laughs> the movie was amazing. Just any movie that you love as a kid or growing up, they're gonna remake it and ruin it with high tech CGI. I went back and I was rewatching the first. I think the first Harry Potter a few months ago. Yeah. The, C- the CGI has become so much better in that time span. Yeah? There's a scene, I think it's like the, the troll goes into like the bathroom. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There are some moments in that scene that look terrible. Wow. Like the CGI looks horrible. And it, it's in a 10 year span, we've gone to like, we can do anything almost. Yeah, I haven't watched it. But lately. it's like, he's like swinging him around by yeah. like his foot. And Harry Potter just looks like rubber like an yeah. action figure it's like, <laughs> like stretch armstrong yeah exactly <laughs> and i'm like what the hell but yeah cgi that's a crazy industry that has just like blown oh up. my god they spent so much money on that shit look at avengers you know how much money they spent on cgi it's fucking retarded oh yeah. you won't make that much money ever do you see how life. how long the damn credits take on the end of yeah especially end game it was like <laughs> Well, that's because it was the longest credits ever. You're waiting for an end scene, end credit scene, and it doesn't come. Yeah. Yeah. And and 30,000 people worked on that movie. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's like uh, Avatar when it launched. Had a, like, fucking ridiculous cast. Uh, 
but you didn't stay to watch it because there was no end credit scenes back then. I'll, uh, all right, let's, let's, uh, we're, oh man, look where we're at. Yeah. Now we're 10, now we're killing it. Oh yeah. Let me, let me, let me ask you this one last question, movie related. How did mm. you feel about where they went with Hulk? Hmm. I, so I like it in the fact that they, they use Professor Hulk and I didn't really define it as Professor Hulk. It was just like yeah. a decision that he made. He was going to be halfway, basically. Um, I did not like the fan reaction to it. Yeah. The hashtag sexy Hulk. That was a bit much for me. I was yeah, like, I don't know. Ah, he's not trying to be sexy. No. He's trying to be halfway intelligible. And also, I mean, you would not want a hand job from the Hulk. No, no. That's a, and you would not want anal from the Hulk. You want to talk? Ooh, you want to talk about End Game? <laughs> yeah, yikes! Mm. That's the end right there. That's the End Game. That is uh, the green weenie taking out a pink sock. <laughs> that is. Uh... <laughs> He's blowing up a pink balloon. Mm. Um, apparently, from what I read, though, the injury he sustained from the snap, mm-hmm. his arm being all burned up, is right. going to be permanent. Really? Yeah. So they're saying he's going to serve in future movies in like a supervisory, like leadership role. I think they're just doing that to set up the Young Avengers. Yeah. Yeah, He's going to be like the mentor. Which in case you didn't um, kind of grasp the end audio clip, because it's not even a scene at that point. It's just an audio clip. Apparently they were going for... Um, the kid that Iron Man helped in the third movie? Second movie? Iron Man 3. Iron Man 3. Um, he crashes. The kid helps him. He gives the kid something. Sets him up at the lab. He's yeah, sets him up at the lab, basically. Most of a suit. <clears throat> so the kid builds his own suit and becomes the next Iron Man. Yeah, there's two in theories. In the Young Avengers. Yeah, there's two theories on the noise at the end. The metal clanging. Right. And it's... One, that it's just Tony building his first suit in the cave in Afghanistan from the very right. beginning, and because that is the beginning and the end of the whole th- mm-hmm. Infinity arc. But then Harley shows up at Tony's funeral. Right. That's Spoiler his name, Harley? Alert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and nothing's said about him. He's just in the shot. Yeah, he's just... It goes past him, and at first I was like, who Yeah, who the, the hell is this guy? Yeah. I had I literally like looked it up and was like, oh okay, I, now I recognize him. But yeah, he's he could be Iron Lad in the Young Avengers, right? Um, but I do like I do like that it was Tony that and en- that ended the whole thing, right? Yeah, <clears throat> but it also leaves me at the point where like I don't know how into the future MCU movies I'm gonna be. I mean, there's got to be some good ones, though. Yeah, I mean, the, the next Spider-Man movie looks awesome. Oh, it looks awesome. Theoretically, that is Stan Lee's last cameo. It was either in Endgame or in the next Spider-Man movie. Well, I mean, they the Endgame one was CGI'd. Was it? Yeah. No, they filmed it. Are it was sure? CGI'd that he was younger. But they actually filmed it. They did? Yeah. Okay. And then I think they filmed the Spider-Man one, and then that's it. But they might not have filmed the Spider-Man one. Okay. So we'll see. We won't know until um, June, mid-June? Mid-June I don't know. Sometime. Something like that. But, I mean, they're, they apparently they teased um, Namor, Prince Namor the Submariner. Oh, the MCU version of Aquaman? Yeah, but he existed before Aquaman. Oh. So Mariner goes back to 1939. Wow. I think. That's um, a nerdy fact for your day. Hey, I got you there covered. There you go. <laughs> um, first two Marvel characters, I believe, were Prince Namor the Submariner and the Human Torch. Oh, so opposites. That would make sense. Okay. 
but they apparently teased Namor in Endgame. Did they? Yeah, because they're talking to the Wakandans. Okay. And they ask him like, "What took what took you so long to show up?" Something like that, and they're like, "Well, there was this earthquake under the ocean that we had, you know, we had to check oh. out." And apparently that was teasing Atlantis and Namor. I didn't even. Uh, I mean, it's a real. I like, didn't catch that. It's a skim by, but apparently Namor makes his first appearance in Black Panther two. Oh, okay, but it's gonna take place before Endgame. It's or during Endgame. During basically during Endgame, I think he'll show up. Okay, during the beginning of Endgame, where there's like that five year period. It's probably during yeah, that. Yeah, somewhere, yeah, in somewhere the, like, that. lost five years. Right, right, right. But yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to some of them, but it's hard to get as excited about the Infinity yeah. Arc. Like, that was... I mean, like, honestly, Captain America, he was the fucking... He was the badass. He was my favorite. Um, Chris... Chris Evans. Chris Evans does a fucking awesome Killer. job. Killer. You couldn't... Killer job. There's no way those movies would have worked as well if they had cast Captain America or Iron Man with anyone else. Oh, yeah, no. No. Because Robert Downey Jr. basically is Tony Stark in real life. Right. It, right. He just, yeah. he nailed it. Just a little bit more cocaine. Yeah, right? Falling yeah. asleep in his neighbor's toddler's bed. Exactly. There you go. But, yeah, no, Chris Evans, man, that, his fight scene, his solo fight scene in Endgame. That was the best part of the uh, movie. By far... Agreed by fucking internet masses. Yeah, just everyone loves that. That was the only part of the scene or of the whole movie that I got audible. Dude, yeah, we both did. Yeah, we were just like, "Fuck!" Yeah, it was ridiculous. <laughs> uh, There's a so the the I think the first show to come out on the Disney streaming service okay. for the MCU is going to be. Um, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Oh, that'd be interesting. Okay, it's already it's been, oh some of it's been filmed. Damn. So okay. he's it's gonna be the new version of Falcon with the shield. Oh. And the so the U.S. agent or whatever. Well, no, he's just gonna be uh, Falcon, but he's got a new outfit that's like more. Star like spangled kind of thing with the shield, and he and Winter Soldier are teaming up, and that show's just gonna be out with two of them fucking shit up. I still think Bucky should have got the shield. I mean, in the comics, they they both had they it. both had it. They both had it at one point. Yeah. Plus, I mean, he's got a shield. It's his damn arm. Yeah, but he is a super soldier. He is Captain yeah. America, but with a fake arm. Which is why I think Captain America was like, hey, Falcon, you're kind of a pussy. You should have the shield. <laughs> Bucky's going to be fine. <laughs> oh, man. Um, but speaking of streaming services. Yeah. Uh, DC streaming service. I don't know if you guys have heard. Um, they have a show called Titans, which is basically a play on Teen Titans, but it's they're not teens. Um, Shatterstar, or Star, whatever. Oh, um... She's like, um... She's like 30 years old. And, uh, Dick Grayson, who plays Robin in that, is... He's already a cop. He's Detective Dick Grayson at that point. Yeah. Okay. So it's... The timelines are a little bit off, but the show is fucking awesome. Do you have the DC streaming? No. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyways, in season two of the Titan, or Titans, I don't know what it's called. Something like that. Uh, Jura, or Jora? Jora the Explorer. <laughs> is talking it, back back? Yeah. He, uh, he got cast as Batman. Oh, he did. Yeah, he's the old, older Batman. That I would think that works. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, Jorah Mormont. Yeah, his Bat. Oh, that's Batman. awesome. 
Oh, you're going to have to tell me how you're watching that. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen Doom Patrol at all? No. No, I have not. Okay. Um, which brings me to a major point here, is that, like, they think that everyone's going to subscribe to Hulu, Disney, Netflix, and all that. People are going to just pirate the shit. They're it, just going to fucking tired. It happens. What yeah. are you going to do? You're pushing people toward piracy again. Again. Yep. Just like it was with music in the 90s. You exactly. Know? Exactly. You're like, you can pay for your, all this. Yeah. Or you can take a two-minute sidestep and not pay for it. The, um, the bane of it is exclusivity. Because if you think about it, Piracy of music in the nine in the late nineties, early two thousands was huge. But then you started seeing these services like iTunes and Google Play Music and whatnot. They don't have exclusive songs on each one. Right. They're just all the same stuff. So you get competition. They're competing for which one you want to be. Amazon music even. Oh yeah. Threw their card in the fold. Um and they're competing for better, uh, better services to give to get more clients. With streaming services, the problem right now is that they have exclusives. You have certain shows that you can only get on Netflix. You have certain shows that yeah. you can only get on HBO Now or HBO Go, whatever. There's t- they're both they both exist. They both. Exist. I don't know okay. what the difference is. Um, if we could kill exclusivity. Like that. That would make competition. Make them compete with each other. To give you a better product. Which is the American dream. Is competition. But it's not going to happen because... Exclusivity is like... Under... um, IP laws. You know, and... Copyright and whatnot. So... um, We would have to change those laws... In order to make it a competitive market rather than a, a monopolative market. Is that a word? I just made it a word. If you're watching, I made it a word. Yeah, we're doing you know, it. Right? We're going to yeah. stand behind it. It's happening. <laughs> and I want royalties. <laughs> <laughs> Webster, you give me that fucking money. <laughs> it just makes me feel, remember playing Monopoly with my family. It's like the least family friendly game mm. and just want to look at everyone and be like I just monopolized your ass the best best job was being the banker so you could sneak a bill out here and there you know what's <laughs> what's worse than regular Monopoly Game of Thrones Monopoly oh, of course they have chance cards in there that you can just take someone's set of property yeah just siege it? Just, just siege it. Oh, nice. And it's yours now. Wow. Yeah. That's shitty. That is that fucking is powerful. Move. <laughs> and then the other chance cards are like, you get a copper. Which is fucking nothing. <laughs> it's two ends of the spectrum that are fucking game changing at huh. some points. So you either establish, establish yourself as a lord. Right. Or you get chlamydia. Yeah. That's or both or both. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, you yeah. you have two new things. I don't think there was a lord alive who didn't have chlamydia. Oh man. My my point to this is people romanticize the like medieval mm-hmm. archetype. Right. You know how bad people would have smelled. Oh yeah. Everybody. But, and the thing is, is that they say that lifespans have grown longer. Over the last two centuries or whatever, you know. Um, so we're, we're living to an average of like 80 years almost. Uh, and everybody way back in the day would live to 40, maybe 50 and die. That was just because they slept with more people. That was all it was. And people were dirtier. Dirty. Dirty, Dirty. people. Going down would have been a It was nightmare. like, uh, yeah, it was like Ohio. Yeah, right? Yeah. Trust me, I've gone down in Ohio. It's not great. <laughs> it's humid, swampy. I'm hoping that um, Dominican Republic is not humid or swampy. <laughs> I mean, well, it's gonna be humid. I know that. But humid and and tropical. 
Tropical. Instead of swampy. Mm. A little hint of pineapple in that yeah, one. Yeah, there's a hint of, <laughs> hints of coconut and pineapple. Coconut. Mm. Did you bathe in coconut oil this morning? <laughs> oh, I've man. mostly just been aging my penis in olive oil for, there you go. for six months. For Bill Burr. <laughs> or not Bill Burr. Um, for Louis. Louis C.K. For Louis. For Louis C.K. You know what? He gets a lot of shit for like what the fuck happened, or whatever. I don't care. He's a fucking I think phenomenal comedian. He's gonna make a full blown comeback. You think so? Yeah, yeah. He's he didn't too rape goddamn anybody. Goddamn funny. He's yeah. fun. He is one of the funniest guys out there. He literally asked those girls if he could masturbate. I mean, and also he kind of like almost directly talked about it in his own act. Like, right. He goes... If you go up to a hotel room with Louis C.K., C.K., and you expect him not to masturbate, you didn't watch the show. You didn't... You, you weren't didn't. listening to the <laughs> show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I, you know what? That situation, I won't even speak to it at this point. Like, it, it is what it is. He, if he, you know, made a mistake, he made a mistake. But I, he's too funny... To not come back. Fair enough. And yeah. I think that I'm hearing that opinion because I listen to a lot of like comedian podcasts and stuff. Mm-hmm. That opinion is coming out more and more in the community. Yeah. I like, think, um, I think eventually it'll it'll scab over and then scar, and he'll still just move on with his career that he was meant to have because he is fucking brilliant. Brilliant. Um, but I think it's just. It's it's taking a notch out of him, and he might not grow as tall. That's all. Hey, whatever. I still think he'll, it'll have a lucrative career. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, let's let's wrap this up by going back to the grade. Oh gonna, yeah. I think we're going clear A. Oh, absolutely. B, B, and C. C. Yeah. Um, if you could find this bottle, absolutely grab it. Most likely, you can find these two. And in that case, I would recommend the stout. Absolutely. I totally agree. Yeah. But that Great Divide cask is a treat. I, you know, we don't do beer or anything on this channel. We're a little bit more of, um, well, we're whiskey focused. We might do a cognac or a rum episode here or there. Mostly whiskey, but we're all about um, distillation. Like, we're. Yeah. Yeah. So we won't do really beer. But. Hats off to Great Divide. Yeah. And I hope we can do their other collaborations that they do, um, especially Bear Creek. I hope they come up soon. Um, but really in the future, in the near future, look for uh, our tour of Long Tucky Distillery. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put it out there that Bear Creek will be our second distillery tour. Yeah, I would absolutely like love guys, that. Those guys like us. They've got our back. Like. Yeah, well, we were also invited to... Um, 5280. 5280. 5280 might uh, host a, a little tour there, which would be awesome. Really cool guy um, that came to see us. Like, yeah. Philly dude. Lou yeah. Pacenta. Lou Pacenta. Like, no, it wasn't Pacenta. It was Pacenta. Was it? Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was Placenta without the L. Placenta without the L. Cool mm. guy. It's someone, if I saw their name on a business card, I wouldn't think whiskey. I'd think bookie. Or like um, Garbage Man. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Sanitation services. Sanitation services, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we'll be doing, hopefully this summer, we'll kill it with live yeah. distillery And we would stuff. love to, um, we're going to hit up uh, that hotel. What the fuck is that hotel? Stanley. The Stanley Hotel in Estes. They have an awesome whiskey selection. We're hoping to hit them up. Um try some of the stuff that they have i've seen a lot of our um, people that we follow on instagram this last week have been trying that uh double eagle very rare and they've been fucking killing it with that but uh maybe one day especially with your support uh follow subscribe download our podcast um hit us up on patreon hit us up on patreon we would love it yeah, if you uh, if you really want to go that extra mile, go to our Patreon page, um, and fucking throw us a couple bucks, yeah. and it'll buy a bottle of whiskey here. 
this uh, this week was particularly expensive. Yeah, we we we're doing some splits on these guys. Yeah. <laughs> um, just because, like, even the Nika on the barrel, we we got a decent price, decent uh, deal on it. Yeah. But when you're buying three bottles of whiskey, there's no. Uh, it's not much of a deal at that point. All right, well, that's our, uh, there's our thoughts on three yeah. different cast finished Jamesons. Absolutely. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so uh, much. We hope you join us, well, not next Monday, because next Monday will be, um, it'll not be live, but it'll be posted. Um, and then the following Monday after that, we'll do, um, I don't know, something else. We'll think about it. Oh, yeah. But thanks for being here, and uh, we appreciate your support. Here's Cheers. to whiskey. Here's to all of you. Here's to whiskey. <laughs>